What's up guys, another monster here, another monsterproductions.com. And as always, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to turn it basically a vocal into an instrument, whether it be your voice or someone else's vocal. Um, and I'm sure you guys have heard this in like basically every pop EDM track that's come out recently. Uh, you hear it in a lot of future bass music and just dance music in general. So, but um, it's a really cool thing. You know, it's kind of taken off because it's it adds something different. It gives it like it gives basically kind of like almost a synthesis sound that also has that organic element that you miss in a lot of synthesizers. So uh, it's, it's a cool thing to do and I urge you to experiment with it, play around with it. And what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is just kind of walk you through some of the processes I do to achieve the sound I'm going for. And then hopefully you guys can follow along and kind of get an idea of what you can do as well to achieve this sound. So what I'm gonna do here is I've created a little pattern with, it's just a little synth and we'll take a listen to it. Uh, it's got some chords and a melody, so let's listen. All right, so that's our chord progression and our little melody. And then we have our vocal, which let's take a listen. Mentira, mentira, how can you love me? Mentira, mentira. And I could probably bring this into new tone and lock it in a little bit more, but uh, I'm going to not do that for this tutorial. So basically what we're going to do is try and line these things up. So let's take a listen. Mentira, mentira, how can you love me? Mentira, mentira, tu no me... And for now, I'm just going to leave that as is. So I'm going to assign this to a free mixer track. And we're just going to start messing with it. So add some EQ, add a lot of reverb. Um, the sound that I'm going for is always very heavily reverbed. Actually, let me just. Add some delay. Make it real wide. I'm adding some distortion, make it real fuzzy. So the goal is to really try and make it so that you can't really understand what she's saying at all. Um, so we could potentially try and bring this up another octave. Let me, let me see.
I think for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to cut it right here. And um, basically, so what I did, I added a little bit of reverb, some delay, some distortion. Uh, I used a fuzz effect, which made it really fuzzy sounding. Um, and then I added an isotope vinyl, which is a free plugin. I'll put a link in the description for you guys for that. And um, basically what that did was just kind of, I don't know, make it sound, I, I added this uh, effect on it, which is called wear, which just kind of makes it sound older, I guess, is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to emulate a record. So, um, and then I basically went even deeper with that with some EQ. I added like a radio effect and I was just kind of playing with it. So these are all some processes you can do to kind of, start to get this effect. Obviously you could use a different type of distortion to get a, a different sound. Um, and I mean, just play with it and have fun. So I know that wasn't really the best example as far as, uh, I felt like the way I processed the, that vocal didn't really fit with the vibe of the, the synth and the pattern that was kind of going. So I wanted to actually load up the session that I'm working on. It's still a work in progress and we haven't released this yet. Um, but, I wanted to show you what I actually did do as far as vocals go uh, for adding an instrument in, in this. And what I did was I actually recorded my voice and I had a melody in mind. So I just recorded the melody that I had. Um, and this is what it sounds like alone. And this is what it sounds like with the, the whole track. So, and what I did with this as far as processing goes is, um, Let me take all this, these effects off and we'll take a listen. I think it's possible that I had already added an effect and exported this once because it sounds like there's a little bit of distortion on there already. Um, but basically what I did after that was added some EQ. Uh, let's continue listening. Reverb. More EQ. More distortion. Some OTT. And some delay. So I just added all of those things and uh, kind of turned it into that cool little synth sound. So if you guys got some value out of this video, please go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Um, don't forget to hit the bell notification. That'll let you know every time I release a new video like this one. New videos coming out every Thursday at around 12 p.m. So uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Just